hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be telling you that how to add a base64 image as a background inside the, the pdf document so we will be doing this all this stuff inside the javascript and this will be on the browser side so you will see there are three buttons out there first will be the create the pdf and then it will be rendering out and then it will be automatically being downloaded so let me first of all click the create button so it will take some time and then it will create this pdf document using the base64 code you will see it has generated this code here now we can render out the pdf document so this will be rendered inside a iframe window and now you can see this is the actual pdf document which has a background image you will see this is the background image which is attached to it you will see this is and now if you want to download this simply you click the download button so it will take some time and then it automatically it will download it as a sample.pdf so that's exactly you can build a pdf document with dynamic data and also with the background image which is base64 image we have converted this and then we have successfully inserted it inside the pdf document so this all we will be doing in this tutorial I have given all the source code in the video description of this blog post. So I will be following this source code. So if you want to download all the source code, you can go to the video description link to download all the source code. So now let's get started by building this application. So it is very easy. First of all, what we need to do is that you need to include the required script tags, which is required for this application. So simply you will require these three script tags. So just after the title, you paste it. Just go to the video description link and copy paste these three script tags. So basically, guys, we are using PDF JS dist library. You have no, uh, known this library, PDF JS dash dist. So this is a very famous library which is used to generate PDF library. So this is the library that we are using here. And the second library we are using is easy PDF dash IO. This is again a simple library for PDF generation and adding the background images. Easy PDF. You can see that. So now let's get started. We have successfully extracted all these dependencies. So now what we need to do is that we need to simply have three buttons out there the first button will do it will say it create pdf the second button will render out the pdf and the third button will be for downloading purposes downloading pdf so now we need to attach on click for each of this so this will be create pdf the second one will be for uh, render PDF. And last but not least, we will have button on click download PDF. So now we have three the, uh, these three buttons out there. So each of these buttons will call these functions respectively so now we need to make these functions so inside of a script tag we can make this so but before that we can have a paragraph tag here after these three buttons we can have a small tag so inside this we can give it an id to it of pdf base64 we can target it inside javascript and also one other div we will be giving a class id to it of pdf that's it so now inside our first function which will be actually create pdf so inside this function code guys what we will do is that we will generate the sample data by using get sample data function which is there inside the library we need to make this function so so now to get the 
data of the PDF document, we need to make the, this function right here at the top, uh, bottom, function get sample data. And inside this, guys, we will have the HTML, which we need to insert the HTML. This can be any valid uh, HTML tag. Close the paragraph. You can also have multiple tags. You can also have a break tag as well after this. So basically we are using some HTML converting it to PDF and also we are adding some background image. So now to add a background image just put a comma and there is a background property which allows you to add uh, so here you need to provide the URL, whichever URL that you need to put. You can provide here any valid URL. So just put this URL. You can put any URL of the image. This needs to be valid image. Easyinvoice.com dot cloud dot slash image slash watermark draft so basically we are adding a watermark as a this image base64 image put a comma uh, and we need to surround this guys so as you see after we declared this html we need to convert this to base64 so there is a function on inside in JavaScript. So you will return this. And let me surround this in curly brackets. So the HTML will be base64. So we have a function b2 btoa. Inside this we will pass the HTML. Put a comma. So we are converting this HTML to base64 and also this image URL to base64 as well. So after this there is also a third option which can, you can provide with settings option so this will be an object so here are various properties out there which you can manipulate which is margin top margin right left if you want the position the pdf document you can do it inside settings but uh, we don't want to do it so that's it after getting this sample data and we are storing this inside our data so after this what we can do is that we will use the easy pdf library and this contains a create method and we will pass the data and this will be a callback function holding the result for us so now we can display this result so we can display this result inside our dev we have given this id PDF base 64 you will see that PDF base 64 and we can attach it to the inner text property inner text and we can use result.pdf so this is code for the create PDF file guys so similarly we will create this for render PDF and lastly for download pdf so for first of all we will write it for the download pdfs which will actually download the file for us we can copy all these stuff guys this code will remain the same in each of the three functions so just inside our download function we need to change one line which will be this time we don't need to create it, we need to download it. So there is a easy PDF download method which we will use. And here you can give any name of your PDF file. Let's suppose I give output.pdf and inside you will pass the actual PDF content which is result.pdf. And inside render PDF guys once again all these steps will be common so let me copy paste instead of download we need to render out so we will be rendering it inside uh, 
a element which we have given we, inside this div you will see that pdf we have given this id so we will manipulate the inner html and this we will say loading just the loading screen after this what we can do is that when the result is there we can delete this download line instead we can simply use the render method easy pdf render and we can render out the pdf that's it result dot pdf that's it so this completes the application guys now we can launch this application open with live server first of all you need to click the create pdf button and this will create the base64 pdf file so it will take some time and then it will create it so it is saying that uh, cannot read properties it is line 38 line 38 let me check uh, I think guys we have made a mistake here this background URL is incorrect let me see which is the correct URL if you go to the video description link you will find out this correct URL so simply you need to copy paste it here again click this button and uh, hopefully this time it will create this uh, I think guys I have made a mistake in writing this code sometimes so you can see output.pdf file is downloaded and now you can see this is your uh, paragraph this is your heading and this is your uh, watermark background image as base64 we have successfully converted this to a pdf document and using uh, pdfjs disk library and easy pdf library so in this way guys you can do this i have provided all the source code in the video description please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video